We're going to be playing Oregon. I was excited. Um, you know, anytime we get a chance to play a Pac-12 school, any Pac-12 school, you know, we're obviously pretty excited around here to, you know, show what we can do against a, you know, a Power Five conference school. And, um, you know, obviously there's some history between Oregon and Boise State, and you know, a couple of good games back in 08 and 09. So, um, you know, we're excited for the opportunity. What is that like? We were talking about with Keiko. It's it's been eight years, but there's still this weird. It feels like there's a bit of a rivalry, and I know it's probably the, the lasting image of what happened in that last one. But wh how can you explain it? And what, what's the feeling like, you know, with with you guys in Oregon? Yeah, I mean, obviously that was like you said, eight years ago. So kind of before any of our, our time, you know, with the for, uh, current players right now. But um, you know, it's it's uh, always a you know exciting opportunity, and we get fired up to play any Pac-12 school. So. There's going to be, uh, you know, some good energy, and um, you know, I think both teams will be excited to play. Before you, you know, before we just start asking about it, how, I mean, have you seen the punch before? How much has it been brought up, or what was your thoughts on the, that whole incident, him getting <laughs> pushed off by Scott Frost out the stadium and stuff? <laughs> yeah, uh, I've, I've definitely seen the punch plenty of times, um, you know, on highlights and different things like that, and you know, obviously having Byron around, uh, you know, the last couple of years. Um, I don't think he liked to talk about it very much, but um, yeah, I've definitely seen it. Do you remember the first time you did see it? I mean, uh, probably right after it happened on okay. Sports Center. Yeah, what whatever. I don't know if it was a top play. It wasn't a top play. It wasn't. It definitely <laughs> wasn't. But uh, I remember seeing like the highlight mm -hmm. of it. Yeah. Um, with you know, with yourself, you know, you talked about it a little bit after the after the game, just what, what this year's been like. And I know it probably isn't easy to encapsulate, but what has this year been like? And you know, you talk about ups and downs and all that stuff. You know, it's been an interesting year for you. Yeah, it has. Um, you know, I'm just thankful to you know finally be a champion. And um, you know, there's like I said before, there's really no better feeling than that. And um, you know, I can honestly say this has been my most successful year so far. And um, you know, I'm looking to finish it strong with a uh, you know a Vegas Bowl win would be awesome. You said it you know hasn't maybe been the most productive certain you know certainly, but and you, you, see, you seem to you know kind of put that on your shoulders. But I know it's, there's been whether it's changing this you know this you know the quarterbacks around or the offensive line wasn't settled. But you know how much do you put that on your shoulders? It seems like I don't know that that you were critical of yourself a little bit out there Saturday. Yeah, no, I think uh, you know I'm always pretty critical of myself. Um, you know, I think I've been, I think I've definitely been productive. I don't think I've, you know, like I said, you know, with splitting time with, a, uh, you know, Montel has been a blessing in disguise for me. Um, you know, I've learned a lot from him. And, um, you know, we've, I think we've worked very well together this year, but I, I don't think I've had, you know, this, like the same, you know, amount of reps as I did last year, mm -hmm. different things like that. So, um, but at the end of the day, you know, when you're a champion and anything that just feels way better than, you know, anything I could, do statistically. After the game, I was talking to Wolpen. He's like literally wiping tears away from his eyes. I mean, you think about, you know, Ryan and, and you know what he's been through, walk on and all that come, transfer and coming here, and then you know maybe scores the, the biggest well, the biggest touchdown of the season. I mean, there at the end of the game uh, in his career, probably what how cool I guess was it for for him for that moment. And you guys may need him here, you know, on next Saturday. Yeah, no, it was awesome for him. You know, he's been our hardest worker, I think. You know, for the last three years that I've been here, you know, in the weight room on the field. The guy just brings it every single day. He's only got one speed. So, uh, you know, to see him score that final touchdown and, uh, you know, give us the lead was was uh, pretty surreal for me. How much confidence do you guys have in him? You know, we don't, obviously Alex is, is uh, you know, left or injured. Uh, if, if he has to be the guy to get 20 carries or whatever in, in the Vegas Bowl, how confident are you guys in, in Ryan? 100% confident in Ryan. You know, catching out of the backfield, um, you know, making plays in the run game, he can do it all. So. I have 100% confidence, you know, really all of our backs, you know, Rob, if, uh, you know, he has to get some more reps and, um, you know, obviously Alex as well. Looking back at, I mean, that drive, you know, you know, at least sticks out 90, 90 yards, but actually 95 with the penalty. I mean, uh, just the way you've been struggling and, and the way it was going and, and knowing the clock's ticking down and then the penalty and you're starting at the five yard line. I mean, what, what were you thinking there and to be able to, to have that drive to you know uh, that people be you know probably talking about or remember for a long time. What does that mean? Just got to keep battling. Um, you know, I think I said uh, you know earlier is and you know, I think it was kind of you know um, similar to how our season's gone this year. You know, we we were we, we were struggling all game. You know, we had some costly penalties. You know, and some things that um, you know we missed some big plays to get in the end zone and. Uh, yet we were still in the game and we had a shot and that's what we kind of talked about in the huddle is you know guys we haven't we haven't really made a play all game but you know we got a shot to go win this thing right now so that was kind of the mentality I felt throughout the entire game is no one really ever gave up our defense kept us in the entire game and 
um, you know, I knew we were going to keep fighting until that uh, clock said zero zero. I read how said was kind of campaigning for that that play and that long pass. Mm -hmm. uh, when you're on the sideline talking to Coach Hill, I mean, how much input does he take from you, and how long did it take before he actually called that play after you <laughs> tried to talk him into it? Well, Sed Sed likes to likes to tell me to call every play where he's going deep. And he's getting he's getting a shot maybe in the slot or whatever. But no, he he uh, he felt like you know that if we put him in the slot, he was going to have a better shot, you know, to get o over the top. And we didn't know the exact look we were going to get. We were in an unbalanced formation. Um, you know, we could have got a really bad look for it and it wouldn't have happened. But I did. We got the I, literally the perfect look that you could have gotten, and um, were able to slip him down the middle and. Um, you know, make a big play there. Brett, what's the best thing about a bull trip? Best thing about a bull trip? Um, I think the easy answer would be to say bull gifts. I think, you know, those are those are always exciting. But, um, you know, you get five days, you know, to spend with your teammates. And, you know, you guys get, you get some downtime. And you're always in cool venues and different things like that. So, um, you know, it's it's a lot of fun. But at the same time, you know, you know what you're you're down there to do. and. Um, you know, the games are always really fun as well. I, mean, I don't with, know how much you've looked at Oregon yet, but uh, their defense, they have a middle linebacker with over 100 tackles and then a, a D lineman with a lot of tackles for loss to uh, and sacks. What, what do you see from that defense? Yeah, their front seven looks, you know, athletic and um, very good. Uh, you know, I've only been able to watch one game so far, so don't really know a whole lot yet, but, you know, I think they're going to be pretty good. You know, they're a Pac-12 opponent. Um, Oregon has had a history of, you know, being – very good and you know they recruit good athletes so uh, it's going to be a challenge for us for sure. When you go kind of going back to the season for you was there a time that maybe frustration set in you know whether it was because the offense wasn't clicking because you know Montel was you, know, you guys were moving in and out a lot was there ever a time where it where it got tough for you or, or got really frustrating that you can think of? Um, I don't really try to I mean I try to tend to stay away from frustration because that's just in my opinion you just waste time if you're frustrated and um, you know, so it was one of those things where I was just, you know, I was just trying to get better and focus on what I could control, and that was, um, you know, helping the team with, you know, my attitude and my effort every day at practice. And, um, you know, thankfully I was able to, uh, you know, contribute, um, you know, later in, a little bit more later in the season. And I think because I focused on those things, uh, it ended up working out for us. What's, what's